So it appears that the future of Harrison Ashby at West Ham United is going to be coming to its end fairly soon. He's been offered multiple contracts and for reasons that are best known to himself, he has seen fit to turn them down. Now, personally, I have I am of the opinion that Harrison Ashby is the best right back option at the club long term. He's definitely the only one of the current crop of right backs in the first team squad. The others being Vladimir Kufal, who may be about to possibly go to Bayer Leverkusen in the January transfer windows, if recent stories are to be believed. Tilo Kera, who's come into the to the team and he's been deployed at centre back and more recently at right back. And Ben Johnson has also had a spell at right back as well. But Harrison Ashby has been shunted out to the sidelines and, and not really been utilised at all in the Premier League this season. He has been quite unlucky with injury up to this point, but I just look and I think to myself, well, we've we've recently had youth players that don't feel that they've had a career path, a progression into the first team and have gone on to other places to, to seek fortune. Quite a recent example being Sonny Perkins, who obviously broke through into the first team squad last season. And then before we knew where we were, the promise of, of seeing a, a young talent blossom in the first team and he's off to Leeds United in the summer just gone. Before that, Jeremy Ngakia, who during the season when the COVID break came in, he played one game after we came back against Wolverhampton Wanderers and because he made it known that he was not going to sign an extension to his contract, uh, that he, he then was discarded and he then went on to Watford. Now, here we are again with with a youth player that's not really being utilised and feels that their, their future lies elsewhere. And, and the word is that David Moyes isn't going to use him going forwards. He's just, he's just not. Now, personally, here's, here's my thoughts on it. I think that Harrison Ashby is the best right back at the club, my opinion. I also think he's the best option as far as if David Moyes wanted to deploy a wing-back formation, he would, in my opinion, be the best right wing-back that we could utilise of our current crop of right-backs. And I'm a big believer you don't cut your nose off to spite your face. I also think that if Harrison Ashby is given an opportunity to shine in the first team, perhaps it might make him rethink his options. And I think back to a, to an interview that we did, a Q&A with the legendary West Ham Academy manager, youth team coach, Tony Carr, MBE. We did a Q&A with him a couple of months back and he recounted the story of how Glenn Johnson, another player who was deployed at right back, got his opportunity in the first team under Glenn Roder. Now, if you want to see the whole of this interview, please go onto the playlists under Q&A and you'll find that along with a few other Q&As sitting there for you. But this is a quick clip of Tony Carr's interview with me a short time ago. He, he suddenly, he got put out loan to Millwall, went to watch him a couple of times in Millwall. He did okay, but didn't uproot too many trees. And of course, anywhere West Ham player play at the Millwall is, is a is a challenge in itself because they hate West Ham, Millwall fans. So whenever Glenn made a mistake, they would have, Millwall fans would have a moan up. Uh, and he came back and he back into the reserves and it was Glenn Roder's time at the club and Glenn, it was the year we got relegated and Glenn was struggling, really struggling. And uh, Glenn Roder said to me, do you think Glenn Johnson could play right back? He said, I haven't got a right back. I've been playing Ian Pierce at right back. He's really, you know, a centre forward or a centre half. He said, and we haven't got a right back. And I just said to Glenn, Glenn Roder, I said, you'll never know until you put him in. And he put him in and he was like a breath of fresh air because the rest of the team was struggling, lacked confidence. And um, he went on and did terrific up and down the wing. He played without he played without fear, in effect. And we, he always had great pace, always had great pace. And that showed. And uh, he never looked back after that. So there you are, Tony Carr recounting the story of Glenn Johnson 
who was given an opportunity to shine in the first team and took that opportunity with both hands. I personally am of the belief that we need to give Harrison Ashby that opportunity to shine. Now, I appreciate that his contract is up in the summer and we could, it may well be that he's going to go anyway. But as I say, you don't cut your nose off to spite your face. He, For me, he's the best right back slash right wing back that we've got at the club. And at the minute, we're in a dire situation, slipping down towards the lower reaches of the Premier League. In my opinion, we should be playing the strongest 11. Absolutely no doubt about it. And if he is the strongest right back, then we're paying his wages. We should utilise him while we've got him on the books. And who knows? Maybe if he thinks that he does actually have a future at the club, maybe if he thinks that David Moyes does look at him as the long-term successor to wear the number two shirt at London Stadium, that maybe he might decide that his future does lie at West Ham and maybe he will put pen to paper. Maybe he won't and maybe he will still leave in the summer. But again, I just think that this is a guy that is a, a pure, pure, really good talent, a really good footballer, good going forward defensively. He's, he's pretty solid as well. And he's young. He's still going to learn. He's, he's a good prospect. We're a club that likes to pride itself on the Academy of Football. There it is on, as you come out of the tunnel at London Stadium. Why don't we try and live up to that? We're going away from bringing youth into the first team playing Premier League minutes it's all very well putting them in a dead rubber game like was done last season against Dinamo Zagreb like was done this season against FCSB and then you never see them again and they're farmed out here there and everywhere and I want to get back to the West Ham of having a pro pro progression for young players coming from the youth teams into the first team and making it or not they'll they'll stand or fall on their own merits once they're in the Premier League but as Tony said in that interview there it's all about being given an opportunity and for me I think that Harrison Ashby needs to be given a Premier League opportunity to show what he's all about and then it's up to him whether he succeeds or fails but for me Harrison Ashby get him in the first team let's see what he's all about and as I say it may well result that he gets into the first team. He sees that he's got a future at the club and maybe he'll put pen to paper and he's our first team right back for many years to come.